Hello everyone, I am Amy Carrier and welcome. This is my weekly lesson for Amy Carrier's classroom. Um, if you're not already a member, I encourage you to join. I've posted the link up here um, with, uh, with the description of today's lesson. And I'm going to wait a couple of minutes while we build up the audience. Please do me a favor and say hello when you're here. So I know we've got some folks tuned in. Today's lesson is pretty cool because you're actually going to get a lot more out of it than just what you would get from me. Um, and like I said, to those of you who are not members of my virtual classroom, I encourage you to become members so that you can participate every other day of the week in the lessons I'm teaching about entrepreneurship, career readiness, and self-empowerment. This is all about you building the life that empowers you to create what you want. So uh, I'm just going to take a moment here like I always do to share this video in a couple of places. Oh, yay, we've got some responses. Oh, Leland's here. How are you, Leland? Um, and everyone, please take a moment to share this so we can get some more people here because I'm going to make a huge announcement today. It's I've never done anything this big, this cool, so I'm very excited and I very much want um, as many people as possible to benefit benefit from what I'm doing. So Leland, I'm glad you're doing great. And Shoab, nice to see you here. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to be looking down at my iPad so that I can see your comments a little bit better. Um, I've noticed that other people who stream live do the same thing. They have multiple screens going because it's just a little too, it's too much happening on one screen. Um, so this makes it easier for me to participate with you as much as I possibly can. Um, so I'm kind of curious, who's here? What are you hoping to get out of today's lesson? Do you know me? My name again is Amy Carrier and I am an entrepreneurship and career readiness coach and I teach live lessons. Uh, in my virtual classroom, which Rehan and I came up with this concept and I built it uh, about four months ago. It's called Amy Carrier's Classroom. It's a group on Facebook and anyone is invited to join. Everyone is invited to join. So I encourage you to do that. Um, I've recruited about a dozen mentor teachers Oops, I've got pop-ups on my screen. Mentor teachers who are teaching everything from having the right mindset to become an entrepreneur to cryptocurrencies and what the future of getting paid in your country looks like. So um, there's lots of really cool stuff happening in the classroom and I wanted to be part of building something really cool and offering it weekly on Mondays during this time as well. So. That is what I'm going to be telling you about today. And because it's a short announcement, I'm going to just open this to questions from you all. So you can ask me general entrepreneurship questions. You can ask me questions about what I'm building. You can ask me questions about Amy Carrier's classroom. Any of the above works. So um, let me share this in one more place and get some more people here. Please hit share right now so that other people uh, benefit and learn from uh, this live lesson. And I think I've shared it everywhere I need to share it. Um, if you were not here in the beginning, let me just say once more that my name is Amy Carrier. I am a business and career and entrepreneurship coach and teacher, and I've created this virtual classroom uh, on Facebook called Amy Carrier's Classroom. The link is in the description of this video, so I invite you all to uh, join. If you want to join, there are three things you need to do. Number one, have a profile photo. Number two, have your name written in English. 
because we have almost 4,000 students from 60 different countries and our common language is English because of because of how diverse and how global we are. So even if your name is written in Urdu, Facebook has a setting where you can write it in italics in English so that we can tag you uh, for all of the people who do not speak Urdu or write Urdu on their, on their computers. Um, and the third rule is there are three questions you're asked. Just answer those really quickly. They're so simple. Answer those really quickly and then you'll be accepted into the classroom. And the benefits are you actually get to engage in conversation. You get to start your own conversation in Amy Carrier's classroom. You get to ask a question and have any of those 3,800, uh, now it's about 3,800 students respond. And you get to hear from all of the mentor teachers and myself. So my commitment to everybody who watches my weekly lessons and communicates with me, I will always respond to your questions and your posts in my virtual classroom. I can't do it all through Messenger. I can't do it all on all of the comments that are left on some of the videos. Um, but I want you to know that your question and your comment is extremely valuable to me. So I've created a place for you to ask that question and I will answer and other people will answer. So please do join and know that I really want to work with you. That's why I'm doing this. There's one of me and there are 8 million other people, 8 billion other people in the world. And I want to be able to reach as many as I can. So that's why I do what I'm doing here. And thank you for being here. So normally what I do on Mondays for my weekly lesson is come up with a topic and I teach on that topic. So for example, my very first lesson was on the fear of failure and how to make it work for you. Um, the lesson I taught most recently was, um, gosh, I don't even remember. I've taught so many. There's a business plan basics lesson that I've taught. You can get access to all of my free weekly lessons. They're all archived on my YouTube channel, which is Amy Carrier Empowers. So just go there, subscribe to my channel, and click the little bell so that it lights up blue. That way you'll receive a notification through YouTube every time I post a new lesson. So for example, this video will get archived on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll also share it in my classroom, uh, I'll share it on my personal page, and of course it's here on Rayhan's page, um, but it will get lost because there are a zillion videos on Rayhan's page, so make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Thank you. Um, let me just look really quickly at the comments and see who's here. Uh, Movia Hussein, how are you? Um, Makhdoom Tahir Shah, nice to see you here. Shoab Maman, how are you? He says, Amy, I believe I have some great entrepreneur business ideas, but I don't know how and to whom I should share my ideas. Uh, it would be great to get in touch with investors. So that's what everybody wants, right? You have an idea and then you need to know how to do it. And there are steps before you actually go to investors. Um, so we talk about this in my classroom and show up the question that you just asked if you ask it in my classroom we will respond and myself and the dozen other mentor teachers will be inspired to deliver a message on that exact topic that you're asking for so this is the this is the benefit for you as a classroom member and it's also the advantage uh, if you do want to become an entrepreneur where you can go and ask questions that can turn into 30 minute or one hour lessons rather than just a quick answer uh, to your post. But so understand that it's important for you to take the initiative to join a classroom like mine to ask a question, to engage in conversation with other people, and to learn from it, and then to actually take the steps. So I hope that answers your question, Shoab. Uh, hey, Carolyn, how are you? Happy belated birthday. Um, let's see. Sam Contives, I don't think I know you, do I? Are you, um, are you a member of my virtual classroom? I don't remember seeing your name before. Um, so let me, okay, there are just lots of great people here. This is awesome. Oh, and Fauzia Zafran is here. Hello. Um, 
I'm so glad you guys are here because what I chose to do with this week's lesson is announce what I'm going to be doing next week, which is really, really cool. Um, so next week, the Monday lesson that I will have in Amy Carrier's classroom, I've posted a couple of teasers for it. I'm going to start interviewing rock star entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who have made it. And I'm interviewing them for one hour for the purpose of getting not just from me, because I teach entrepreneurship, so I can answer your questions. I can tell you how I've done it. And any individual can tell you how they've done it. I want to reach hundreds of thousands of people with these interviews so that you can learn from these rock stars about what they've learned. What mistakes did they make and how did they overcome those mistakes? What are their top pieces of advice for you? And the first gentleman I'm going to be interviewing is Muhammad Sadiq. And Muhammad Sadiq, Sadiq as he's known, is a Pakistani who now lives here in the United States. Um, and he's also a serial entrepreneur. He started at least 10 companies. And in the video teaser, uh, if you add me or follow me right now, you'll see the video teaser is one of the most recent posts I made on my personal page and also in Amy Carrier's classroom to show you what it is that he's going to offer you. Now, Sadiq is someone who you can work with him, but you have to pay a lot of money. It's similar to me. You can hire me, but you have to pay a lot of money to work with me privately. So this is why I do a small piece of my time each week to teach you for free and why I've asked other successful people to do the same. People are more likely to offer something for free if it's going to benefit them. So Sadiq will come on here and he'll get a bigger audience, right? Now he already has a big audience, but when you're a teacher, you benefit from having bigger audience and touch and impacting more students. So I'm excited for Sadiq's interview one week from today, and I don't think I'm going to be um, holding it live on Rehan's page. I think I'm going to be holding it live on my page. So be sure you follow me. I am just Amy Carrier, facebook.com slash Amy Carrier on Facebook. Be sure you follow or add me so that you can participate in that live video because Sadiq's going to talk at first about what he calls his recipe for success. And this is a very successful entrepreneur, very successful man. So you want to learn from people like that, right? Um, and I have a really rich network of these kinds of successful entrepreneurs. I already have a lineup of people that's at least two months long uh, that I'm going to be bringing on here so that you can meet them, so that you can ask questions of them and learn from them directly what they're willing to give for free in the course of an hour. So what do you guys think about this? Thumbs up? Is this good? Is this something that seems valuable to you? Let me check out the comments. Let me actually see some thumbs up and some hearts. I don't see anything right now. What do you guys think about this, this offering? So you all follow Rehan, right? So you watch his videos that he posts. Um, he posts, thank you, he posts things sometimes about business, sometimes about his travels around the world, um, lots of different categories. Now, what I do for this interview series, it's going to be all successful business owners, entrepreneurs, business leaders from all over the world who have found that recipe for success. So um, I'm excited for next Monday. Be sure you follow me and ask your questions now because this is your opportunity because this isn't going to be an hour-long lesson because I'm not really teaching something right now I'm here just to respond to you and answer your questions so let me look at the comments so far um, Umar Farouk says hi dear teacher and all of you hey Umar uh, Hukam Khan says great wishes for all of them so it looks like you guys just like this. Do you have any questions or um, ideas about these interviews? Do you have any famous entrepreneur you'd like me to interview? I would love to connect with everyone. I will do my best. I have some super rock stars in mind that I'm going to see if I can connect with them so that you can learn from them. 
Um, and remember, I'm not going to be doing this on Rayhan's page. Um, I don't think. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be doing as part of my classroom. So I'll either stream live in my classroom or on my personal page. Right now, it's most likely on my personal page. So Fauzia Zafran says, she's really happy to see such great successful people because they help you correct your mistakes earlier. Yeah, it's so true. And this is actually, watch the video teaser of me and Sadiq. Uh, we made it last week. We had a two hour conversation. This is an incredible man. And I feel very fortunate that I was able to spend two hours with him. Um, and he specifically says in our video teaser, that he made this huge mistake, huge mistake. And it ended up costing him $200,000, US dollars, $200,000. That's more than four times the average US income for a year. He lost that because he made a mistake doing something he knew better. He knew not to do it, but he did it. And in the video teaser, I say, how many of you have made mistakes by ignoring your own better intuition, by ignoring what your gut told you to do. So one of the things that Sadiq wants to talk to you all about is how to not make these mistakes. And he's specifically going to give you his recipe for success, which I think is incredible. I'm excited because I learned a lot from him when, I had, when we had our call last week. And I'm excited to learn even more. Um, and I'm excited for all of you to learn because if you tune in to this interview series every single Monday, you're going to hear from the most successful people I know and Rehan knows because he connects me with all of them. And you'll have this whole massive series of really successful stories and tips and advice. Um, there's another woman. There are two women I'm going to be interviewing here. This is just, they're at the top of my list. My list might end up being a year long. Um, these two women are so successful. One of them is, uh, she's a PhD. She publishes articles weekly in um, Entrepreneur Magazine. She's going to be uh, a mentor teacher in my classroom. She's going to be doing one of these interviews and she's extremely powerful. She's written two books. Her name is uh, Patty King Fletcher, and you can follow her right now, I think. Um, but just look her up, what, read her article. She, every single one of her articles, she does a little like two minute mini video at the beginning to give you a piece of advice. So I want you to be resourceful, and this is one of the ways that you can be resourceful. Look for these super successful people and learn all you can from them. If you can't afford, you know, to travel or to attend their, their workshops for $5,000, this is a really good way to learn information that's just as valuable through your phone or through your computer screen. All right, let's see. What thoughts or questions do you all have? It's very sunny here today. We had so much gray skies, rain, overcast from all of the hurricanes that have been happening in the Atlantic that... Yesterday and today have been so sunny, and uh, it's making me so happy. Um, so let's see, who do we have here? Bilal Khalil says, hello, how are you? Where are you from? I live in the United States. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, Mazar Al Shafiq says, can I interview sometime? Please give me an appointment. Are you talking about interviewing me? Thank you very much. I actually stopped uh, responding to those requests because I owe people like three months worth of interviews um, that I've said yes to. Thank you. I encourage you to join my classroom and participate there. You'll actually find that you'll get more personal information from me in the classroom because it's my creation. Okay. Um, Jonah D. Pascal says, good afternoon. Hey, Jonah, how are you? Sokwa Bali says, good afternoon. Hafiz or Rahman says, so. Hi. Uh, I get lots of thanks. 
Uh, Kawaja Imran says, do you also share failure stories so that people will evaluate things for their businesses? Absolutely. That's the whole point. So I'm not going to interview anybody who just wants to come on and talk about how amazing they are. I'm done with those types of people because usually they're just covering up for a lot of failures that they don't feel comfortable within themselves admitting to yet. And failure is your greatest teacher. Failure is always your greatest teacher. So these successful entrepreneurs I'm going to be interviewing, they have all failed. <laughs> they all have really amazing advice for you. And you can, you can expect from me that I will not have someone on who's not going to answer that question. What is your greatest failure and what did you learn from it? I promise I will ask that question. Um, Leland Best says, Jonah D. Pascal. Uh, Jonah, who are you? I don't even know who you are, but Leland knows you. And I know Leland, so let's connect. Let's see. Oh, Jawad Khalid is here. Hi, Jawad. How are you? I'm expecting to hear from you soon. Um, Hukam Khan says, ma'am, mistakes compuls compulsory for life. Yeah, we all make mistakes. If we don't make mistakes, we don't learn. It's really that simple. This is the problem with the education system, that they they scare you. Don't make mistakes. Don't fail. We'll give you bad marks. We'll give you low grades. We'll fail you if you fail. When my belief and the way I taught was I never failed anyone. If they tried, they absolutely passed. If they tried really hard multiple times, they got higher scores. This idea that failure means you're done, you're out of the game, no. Don't let anyone or anything or any situation convince you to drop out of your own game because you failed. Okay? You got me? Let me see some thumbs up or some hearts. You got it? Don't give up after you fail. Learn from it. Try again. It's how we progress through life. So we start here and we kind of try, 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 and then we try a little bit and then we fail. So then we go back up and we're smarter this time. So we go up higher and we try and maybe we do really well and then we fail and boom, we fall down, but we don't fall as far. And then when we try again, we go up higher and higher and higher. This is how life progresses. And if you let yourself give up after you fail, then you pretty much start here. You make a little progress, you fail, you drop down and you stay here forever. You don't want to do that. That's not fun. That's stagnation. That is failure. That's saying, okay, I accept failure as my default setting. I'm happy to just fail and stay failed. You can't do that. And even if you feel like, well, I've done that. I've been, I failed for five years now. I never got myself back up. It's never too late. And maybe you needed to spend five years learning from that lesson. Don't make yourself feel worse for doing anything you've done to this point. It might be that you were waiting for the right timing for the right next opportunity. Or you're waiting for the right teacher. Or you're reading, waiting to read the right book. Or find the right business partner. Or you're waiting to watch Amy Carrier's interview with an entrepreneur rock star in her virtual classroom to say something that all of a sudden sparks everything for you. You never know what the reasons are for the things that happen to you, but do not let them destroy you, your dreams, or where you want to go. Okay? So let's see. We have some more questions here. Leland says, that's his bud. Okay, cool. Jonah, can you be my bud too, please? Um, Saeed Mohammed Raza Zaidi says formula of success is different for everyone depending on industries they work in uh, but basics will remain the same you're right I'm turning the fan on me because it's so warm give me a second it's seriously so warm it's like midsummer and it's almost October and here in the United States, it should not be this warm, but I'm not complaining. It's very nice. So, Saeed, yeah, you're absolutely correct. The basic lessons will always be 
lessons that you need to learn from, and you don't want to have to learn the same lesson over and over. So take the time you need to actually process. If, if it makes you feel hurt or very emotional and you need to cry or scream or punch a pillow, do that. Get it out of your system. Learn from it and move on. But don't let it, if it makes you feel depressed and feel sorry for yourself, you can stay in that space for a day or two, but don't live in it. Don't stay there. There's nothing for you in that space. Love yourself through it, take care of yourself, but then get up and move along. Got it? All right. All right, Jawad gave me a smiley face. Does that mean you're going to be calling me soon, my friend? Um, Suja Ula says, I just missed. You didn't miss anything. You're here. Uh, Fauzia Zafran says, agreed, ma'am, that we'll try again and we don't lose hope. Yeah, don't lose hope. At whatever you need to do, I actually have, um, maybe I'll remember to bring it in here next time. I have the word hope in my living room. Um, let me show you something. I have the word hope in my living room and it's leaning on a window so that when I look out the window at the sky, I see this word hope and it goes, it's at an up angle. And I always get this message, hope goes up. I actually wrote an article <laughs> that contains this story. Hope always goes up. Even if you feel like you've lost hope, you're always going to find hope. You're always going to be pulled up out of it. And it's very similar to this, um, this wire art that I have that hangs in my office over here next to me that says inspire. So get whatever you need. You can even write it on a piece of paper and print it out um, or print it out from the computer. Post something that reminds you to stay positive, to stay uplifted. I have lots of stickers over here on my whiteboard that say, be the change you wish to see in the world. I have a quote from Martin Luther King. Let's see now. I have a card uh, with an angel holding the word compassion. Um, I have this, which is this Martin Luther King quote that says, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And just so you know, this is why I built this online virtual classroom because this is the way I think about the world and the way I feel about the world. If there are people who don't have access to what I teach, either because they can't afford to work with me or they can't afford to buy my courses uh, or they don't live here locally with me, I made it my commitment to make the lack of entrepreneurship um, lessons and education and, and all of the other things that I teach available to anyone in the world who is resourceful enough to join this classroom. So that's my commitment to you. I can't travel to all 8 billion people and coach you individually for a year. It's impossible. But I can do this. So make sure you join the classroom because it's wonderful that you um, follow Rehan's page. I'm not always on Rehan's page. In fact, like I said, I might not be on here for the next few months while I do these interviews. I don't know yet. <laughs> so buy your insurance plan by just joining my classroom. It's very easy. Um, all right, let's see more comments here. Jawad says, people are not afraid to fail, but I think they're more scared to lose what they have. Oh, that's interesting. Everybody has a different reason for their fears. So Jawad, I think you're right. There are definitely people who have that same feeling. There is a fear of what if I do this? What if I lose my money? What if I lose my reputation? What if I try and put a year of my life and $100,000 of my own money into this and it doesn't go anywhere? These are all fears that everybody has. And I can promise you, if that happens, you will learn extremely valuable lessons that maybe you actually needed to learn. So I, my live lesson last Monday, I encourage you to uh, 
like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can watch it, I actually talked about my personal journey and how I was building my consulting business um, after proving what I did worked. I was teaching career readiness, entrepreneurship, self-empowerment inside schools in the United States. I traveled to Africa, I worked there for a while, I came back, I got very sick, very sick. And over the course of a couple of years, I didn't have the energy or the ability to do the work I wanted to do. You know, I sat down, I taught myself how to build a website, I had all this money in cash in my savings account that I really worked hard to save. And ultimately, my body took over. My body had different ideas for me, and I almost died. My appendix ruptured, I wound up in the hospital, I couldn't walk, and for the two years after that, I couldn't, I could barely work. I could barely do anything. So all of my money was gone, and here I was feeling like a failure because I couldn't start my business, but I physically couldn't do my work. And I did. I had all of these internal feelings. So when Jawad says he thinks that fear of failure is one thing, yes, it's, it's that. And it's many other things for many other people. And, and who was I to think I couldn't walk, I was extremely sick, and I had to take care of myself, but I felt like a failure because I couldn't go out into the world and have a ton of energy and show people how to build these programs. So I'm now three, four years out from that, and I've learned so much, so much that I never would have learned had I not gone through that. So your fear of failure, even if the worst thing happens, and I'm living proof, worst, worst thing happened, I almost died. Um, and then I couldn't work for two years trying to get my health back, and I, I'm not cured. I'm not cured at all. I walk with a cane. Um, I don't have use of my hands. I used to be an artist. So, and all of my money went away. I lost it all because I needed it to pay for doctors and, and to pay my bills when I couldn't work. So I want you to know that even if the worst thing happens, you will survive. You will get through it because the worst thing happened to me and I'm here and I survived and I got through it and you will too. So whatever that fear is that's holding you back, talk to it and say, okay, I'm stronger than you are. I acknowledge that you exist. I get it. When I think about you, I feel fear. I feel it in my stomach or I feel like I can't breathe, wherever you feel your fear. But I know I'm stronger than you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to push through this. I'm going to, I'm going to do my best. And if some sort of failure comes up to meet me, hi. You're my friend. I'm going to learn from you. Okay? I didn't plan to say any of that. So there you go. You, you got an even deeper part of my story, my personal story. Um, all right. Anybody else here have a question or a thought? Uh, Jawad, Jawad says, wow, yeah, true. It's all about fear. Yeah, Jawad, so now you know more. Everybody knows more watching this. And I, I want you to know that it's not the purpose of this video today, but this is the purpose. This is why I started with my very first lesson, being on fear. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see all of my lessons are numbered. And lesson number one is how to make your fear of failure work for you. Because especially if you want to be an entrepreneur or especially if you want to be self-employed, there are a thousand reasons that people feel fear. And mostly, or, or the first fear that people experience is, well, where's my money going to come from? I can't do it because I'm going to leave my job that pays my bills, buys my food, keeps the roof over my head. If I leave that, that's my security. How am I going to do this? And you can do it. You will do it. Uh, in many cases around the world, you might be forced to do it. So teach yourself now so that if a, a circumstance comes up where you are forced to do it, you can. And what do I mean by that? Um, 
there's so much changing in our global economy. Uh, there's so many there's so many challenges right now. We're becoming global. And there's so many parts and pieces of our economy that are changing. We are um, globally, we're no longer automated. We're, we're based on technology. So a lot of jobs are going away. Here in the United States, the conversation is about the truck drivers because trucks are going to be self-driving and um, people who work in factories are going to lose their jobs because factories don't need people anymore. Everything is automated. So we're looking at here in the United States alone a 25 to 35 percent unemployment rate on the horizon. Now I, I realize that some of you may live in countries where the employment rate is already at that level or higher, 60, 70 percent. If that's the case, then you have every reason to build your own business and take control of your own career right now. And here in the United States, we are, our unemployment rate fluctuates somewhere between five and 7%. Um, so people are really starting to freak out. And there are lots of people talking about how do we retrain the workforce? Um, largely, they, the answer to that question is what I am doing for you through Amy Carrier's Classroom for free. Now, I do have products and services that are offered that aren't free, and that's coaching, and that's more intensive, and that will help you as an individual actually grow. But if you can't afford these types of things, take advantage of what's out there for free, like what I do and like what my 12 other mentor teachers are doing. And now the... Um, the, the weekly interviews with entrepreneur rock stars that are going to be telling you how they got to where they are. So let's see, are there any other questions? Fauzia Zafran says she agrees strongly. Thank you, Fauzia. I love Fauzia because she's teaching students entrepreneurship, which is actually, that's my passion. That's my background. I believe that we should teach all children and especially teenagers how to be entrepreneurs, period, without question. It needs to be a part of their education. That's why my business, um, my business is called Empowerment Through Education. I have two businesses. My consulting business to do coaching is Amy Carrier Consulting, and then my other business where I work with schools and school systems and school districts and businesses to build these programs is called Empowerment Through Education. And you can visit my website, empowermentthrougheducation.com, to learn, there's a ton of free information there as well, to learn how I built a program or programs to teach students in schools all of the same things I teach you here in my classroom. So check that out if you'd like. Um, Fauzia, I'm sure you've already visited my website because I know you do the same thing. Um, let's see. Fahad Javed says, hi, this is Fahad. I had an accident in December 2010. Uh, he couldn't walk for two and a half years. But now he's doing a job in Dubai and he's happy and he struggled a lot. So Fahad, I, I commend you. First of all, for having the courage to write that on here, knowing that I would probably read it out loud. And I commend you for having the courage to, maybe this is the first time you've ever told this. Um, but most of all, I know what you've been through. And I really admire your strength to get through those two and a half years. Um, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. My journey of not being able to work or walk was also about two years, but my overall journey of losing my, I used to be a runner and an artist, and um, pretty much when I came back from Kenya in 2011, I started losing my health and my ability to run, and everything changed. So this has been, what, we're in 2017, this is like six years. And these were the six years that I chose to spend building my business and my original five-year plan had me somewhere else entirely from where I am right now.
but that's okay. That's okay. If you make plans, uh, if you make a five-year plan or something like that, it's fine. It's okay for you to be somewhere else after those five years. Um, and Fahad, congratulations on the job in Dubai now. That's wonderful. Uh, Babar Salim says, life without motivation is nothing. I appreciate your endeavors. Thank you so much, Babar. Um, Kwayam Zia says, no failures, but low aim is a crime. <laughs> That's interesting. Low aim is a crime. I think, I think it depends because I think for some people, they need to take a small first step. So they need to aim low to begin with. Now, if you're talking like not having high enough goals, well, everybody's entitled to have different goals, right? But it's okay. I, I, a lot of people feel that when I work with my clients, and we're, especially if we're looking at the five-year plan, and I go through the goals and the benchmarks and things like that, I tell them, look, I want you to write on your five-year plan that you hired me. Because that's a huge step. That's an extremely valuable step that most of the time my clients never think about adding that as a successful step taken. But if you have read a book, if you've taken a class to teach yourself something you need to know, if you have worked with a coach, that's a really important step. It might feel small to you, but that's just your own self-judgment. So, you know, question yourself, your self-judgment all the time and just pat yourself on the back. Even if all you did today was get up and send one email, you did something. And if you spend the next five days feeling bad because you only sent one email on Monday, then you're not moving forward. Some days we have bad days and that's okay. You can get up tomorrow and you can start over. Don't berate yourself. Uh, Fauzia says, yes, it's very difficult when you see death with a very close end, but you survive because of your willpower. Uh, yes, you can do it. Your willpower that says, yes, you can do it. Um, yeah, you're right, Fauzia. It's, that it's that thing inside of you. So always look for that spark, that passion, that belief in yourself, no matter what. Uh, Raja Fahad oh. says, hi, Amy, how are you? How important it is, is it to take a risk in business? You can only take risk. Business is synonymous with risk. If you're someone who doesn't want have to have anything to do with risk, go get a job where your duties are predictable every single day. It's still a risk because you're asking that company to value your contribution and pay you, that's still a risk. But if you want to start a business, it's pure risk. So like I said, I took a risk and I almost died. I definitely failed. I definitely lost all my money, but I'm here. I survived. I learned a lot. I learned so much. If I had read a book about someone else's almost dying and failing and blah, 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 I wouldn't have gotten as much out of it as I did from going through it myself, which as a teacher, I know that I have been through so much in my life, so much in my life, because it is the best way for me to truly understand it and turn around and teach people how to get over it, get past it, move through it, have success despite it. So apparently I'm a tough cookie who can just go through stuff. And don't get me wrong. Those two years, I was depressed and in my bed and felt like giving up every single day. In fact, I probably did give up. But it's okay. You can always come back from that. You can always, always move forward. Um, Raja Fahad, you're welcome. Thank you. So like I said, this uh, video was just a short one to announce the upcoming uh, rock star entrepreneur interviews that I'm going to be doing, starting with Muhammad Sadiq. Uh, watch the short video uh, that's on my page. Who here, can I get some thumbs up and some hearts? Who here saw that trailer of the interview with Muhammad Sadiq? Um, who here is in my classroom or already connected to me through my page? who's seen that. Can you say yes or no in the comments? 
Okay, I get some thumbs up. Um, so Mohammed Zohab says, I have study that's high risk, high turnover, or profit. I have study that high risk. Oh, you have studied. Okay, that high risk, high turnover, or profit is true. I don't understand your question, Mohammed Zohab, and I'm sorry. Um, join my classroom and ask the question there. Then we can go into discussion with it, okay? Uh, and even if I can't give you an answer that you find valuable, um, Others in the classroom, and especially the other mentor teachers, will be able to. So definitely join my classroom. I'll be looking for you to join, actually, right after I finish this video, okay? All right, Zafran Chachi says, what do you suggest for those who are uh, addiction, maybe addicted to doing a job as a task-based work, but they want to break it? So I think what you're asking is, what do I suggest to people who can't leave their jobs. Can you answer and tell me, is that what you're asking me, Safran Chechi? Um, because if it is, I have a response for you. Um, number one, we this is a problem here in the United States a lot. And we call it having golden handcuffs. And in some cases, golden handcuffs is the company pays you well, um, you know, they give you enough time off, enough vacation time, there are enough benefits that you kind of don't want to leave because it's easier to just stay with them than take the risk, than leave and take a risk, an unknown. So in this culture, we call these golden handcuffs. So the handcuffs obviously have cuffed your hands together so you aren't making a move, but they're gold. So you've learned to believe that that experience, and you called it being addicted to the current job, you're trained to believe that that's valuable enough for you to ignore this internal voice that's saying, I should do something else. I should start something for myself. I should take a risk. I should leave. So don't let golden handcuffs keep you where you are. And a lot of people will stay for years, for decades in a job, that doesn't fulfill them, that doesn't make them happy because they're afraid of the jump. They're afraid of taking the risk. And there are ways to make that transition smartly. Um, and you need to start preparing. So I knew uh, years before I left my job in a school where I developed all of my curriculum, teaching business skills, entrepreneurship, self-empowerment, I knew years before I left that, that I would go build a, a company to work as a consultant to teach other schools and districts all over the United States and around the world how to do what I learned how to do. I knew that I had extreme value in my knowledge and my experience internally within a very complex system. So my plan was to build my own business. So what I did was save money. I had it in the, ca in the bank, it was cash, I just needed to pull it out, and it was right there. It was there for me to spend. So you wanna be smart, and in some cases you can't be smart, you don't make enough money to save money. In that case, do something else. Start making a plan, start writing not just your ideas, but your content. What are you going to offer to people? Write it down, develop lessons. Start building your network and marketing yourself to people so that you can find your first clients. And in some cases, you can actually start working with clients before you even leave your job, before you leave the golden handcuffs. So there are lots of ways to do it and look at the best transition for yourself. And if there is no best scenario, do it anyway. You're going to do it. And sometimes the universe, if you do not take those steps while you have the opportunity, sometimes the universe will push you into it. I know this, I've seen this, I've experienced this in my own life. And you don't want that. You don't want to be put in a position where say you're fired or you're laid off or the company goes bankrupt and you don't have your last three months of pay. You don't wanna do that to yourself. You wanna start thinking about your future and taking those risks as soon as you can. Hey Hassan, Hassan is one of the mentor teachers 
in my classroom, and Hassan is actually from Pakistan. So he's one of the two Pakistani teachers who really truly understands your culture and your environment, which is important to me because a little more than half of the students in Amy Carrier's classroom are from Pakistan. So Kayam Zia says, I think if we satisfy ourselves and are fully confident, we achieve our target. Yeah, there are lots of ways to achieve your target. And if that's what you believe, my only question is, are you doing that? Are you doing what you think? Are you doing what your intuition is telling you? Um, Zafran Chachi answered my question. He said, yes, that is what he was talking about. So Zafran, do you understand what I'm saying about the golden handcuffs? Like if you're addicted to that environment because you think it's so much better than taking a risk, then really look at what you're giving up to stay in that situation and think of it as golden handcuffs. If they're made out of solid gold, that's amazing. Like, look at those beautiful handcuffs, but they're still handcuffs. They're keeping you from moving. So think about that. Which is more valuable, the gold or your freedom to have your hands to do whatever you want? That's a tricky question for some people. Uh, all right. Hassan Ali says, who are you? My name is Amy Carrier. I am a business entrepreneurship and career readiness coach and teacher. I live in the United States and I'm streaming out here on Rehan's page because Rehan and I met three and a half years ago. We talked about teaching entrepreneurship um, and we connected on that. So of the many things that Rehan has suggested to me over the years, one of them was this coming on here to on his page and doing my weekly live lessons for Amy Carrier's classroom here so that folks outside of my classroom could learn about the classroom, benefit from the lessons, and join us so that they can have their questions asked. Um, Saeed Mohammed Raza Zadi says, great, so Pakistan rocks. Uh, Zafran Chachi says, thanks so much for the answer in detail. You're welcome. Was that helpful? Uh, Hassan Arshad says hi to everyone. You all should uh, connect with Hassan. So, and he's in the comments. Hassan also, he was inspired by Amy Carrier's classroom to make his own classroom where he teaches people how to build their own. Uh, and Hassan, why don't you just write it in the comments because I'm probably going to butcher it. But how to build businesses online to work as freelancers or consultants. Uh, especially if you have technology skills. That's what he helps people to do. So he does this in his classroom as well as in my classroom. Hey, Charlotte McCullough, how are you? Uh, Mohammed Janzaib Khan says, give some business ideas for a college going to learn entrepreneurship practical. I don't understand your question, my friend. Give some business ideas. Um, I recommend that you join my virtual classroom. Uh, one of the things that I've talked about in my lessons is you can't start with asking a stranger for a business idea. You need to start with um, what is your purpose? Find what it is that excites you to do. This is one, I think this is like the third or the fourth lesson on my YouTube channel. Finding your life purpose, that will answer your question about what business can you build. Uh, Zafran Chachi says, yeah, so you understand it. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to say thank you all so much and remind you once again, my name is Amy Carrier. You're invited to connect with me here on Facebook. Uh, the link to my personal page is in the description of this video. I'm Amy Carrier. And you are absolutely invited to join Amy Carrier's classroom, which is a really cool virtual classroom. And we've got lots of surprises coming for you because the mentor teachers and I have started having global video meetings. We had one yesterday that I actually wrote about on my page. It was so amazing. Um, you'll get a lot out of this. And you might be one of the people I recruit to be a mentor teacher. That's how every single one of the current mentor teachers 
became a mentor teacher. It's because I watched what they were writing in my classroom and I contacted them and I said, will you please teach? You have something valuable to offer. I want you to teach. And in Hassan's case, it led to him being a mentor teacher, building this confidence in himself and then creating his own classroom. And he's in the process. He's an entrepreneur building his business. So he's, there are lots of things going on in his life that you can benefit from, that you can learn from. So um, you can also connect with people from all over the world. I say all the time, you never know where your next business partner is going to come from or your next best friend. You, you never know. So use Amy Carrier's classroom to network because that is the purpose of it. So I know that um, here on Ray Han's page, you can certainly ask questions when any of the, the people streaming on his page come on here. You can ask questions, but you're not necessarily going to be interacting. So you can do that in my classroom very easily. And as I said, make sure that you are taking advantage of all of my weekly lessons. Uh, the mentor teachers and I have decided that we're going to archive everyone's weekly lessons. Right now, I archive mine on my YouTube channel, Amy Carrier Empowers. And we, as all of the teachers in Amy Carrier's classroom, are going to set up uh, a YouTube channel to archive all of the lessons that you're getting. Um, and our, my goal is to have a mentor teacher teaching every single day of the week. Right now, we've got lessons, I think, four days a week. So, but it's happening. It's all in process. Let's see. Fran Saeed said, can do any online job. I don't know. Can you? Can you? Do you want help learning how? Join my virtual classroom. Saeed says again, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hassan Arshad says, freelancing and consulting business. Okay, he said I said it correctly. Um, and Hassan, can people friend you or follow you right now? Can you say yes or no? Uh, Kayam Zia says, thanks, Amy, ma'am, and Rehan, sir. You provide a very good path for understanding life. Thank you for saying that. Um, me and Rehan says, how are you? I'm well, my friend. I'm sorry, I keep looking down, guys. If you're looking at the top of my head, because I can only read the comments over here. They don't scroll on my screen for some reason. And I would have to keep reaching up here. Anyway, so multiple screens is what it is. So, my friends, I thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing so many of your uh, requests to join Amy Carrier's classroom. And um, I look forward to interacting with you in my, in my classroom. It's, it's amazing. It's an incredible place. And I really think it can change the world. Um, I think a lot of things can change the world. And all of them are ideas that are seated in the hearts of individual people. And those individual people find the strength and the courage and have the internal motivation because they're excited to do it, to take these actions and to change the world. And I know that you can be one of those people. Just make sure you trust yourself and you take a step, even the smallest step, just move forward. All right, thank you all so much. I really appreciate you being here. And I look forward to seeing lots of your friend requests and requests for the classroom and your new subscriptions to my YouTube channel. You'll definitely want to watch the, the two or three lessons that I've talked about. Um, everybody has really benefited from those. They're very powerful. Uh, and it's the type of thing that I go to conferences and I get paid to talk about. So you get them for free if you know that they exist. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful Monday, Monday evening, or even early Tuesday, depending on where you are in the world. I love this. I love how global it is. It's so cool. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.